Hi, I'm Katie, I'm the Legacy Manager here at St Mungo's and today we're here at Sherlin Road which is one of our mental health hostels in London. Uh, today we invited some of our local supporters to see some of, um, some of our work and to learn more about what we do and also meet some of our clients. We are an 18 bed hostel for men and women who are former rough sleepers, who've experienced homelessness and who have mental health needs. Uh, we come under Westminster Mental Health uh, and we're part of a pathway that includes another 24-hour project and some semi-independent places. Uh, we take a bit of a radical approach to mental health. We don't operate within the medical model that is traditionally used by doctors and psychiatrists and we try and create a safe alternative space for people experiencing distress or psychosis or hearing voices or unusual beliefs. Um, we recognise that those things are really distressing and very real and um, sometimes people use hospitals and medicine and the biological way of thinking in order to help them with that but we also acknowledge that trauma happens and bad things happen and we want to uh, acknowledge that and create a way a space that people can heal from those things. Um, part of the way that we do that is that we employ peer support workers. I am a peer support worker which means I have direct lived experience of mental health and homelessness. I been been to uh, St Mungo's now for about two to three years. Anyway, uh, recently I was in hospital because I was mentally ill, and but I managed to get released from that from the section, and I I went to St Mungo's to hear, and they gave me a home. They gave me a home, and something something else to do and because I came here to St Mungo's I, I didn't have to go back to, to the hospital and so I managed to get away from the section and I came here and they saved me. Um, shared living can be a bit of a strange experience especially when you're living in a hostel um, and there's staff in the building all the time but we try and make it as much like a home as possible and as less like an institution so we bought fish and we have a cat and we have nice things on the wall and not signs and weird things and rules um, and yeah we want to try and make it like a nice community in which people feel comfortable. The event went great today, everyone had a brilliant time uh, learning more about St Mungo's and what we do here. If you want to learn more about what we do and meet some clients and see our projects, feel free to get in touch or if you have any questions about um, leaving a legacy or any other ways of supporting us, um, we'd be happy to help. This is also a great opportunity to thank our supporters for everything they do for us, giving up their time, for their donations, it really does make a difference and we wouldn't be here without them.